In this video, we are going to do more exercise regarding inverse normal distribution. Again, what is inverse normal distribution? Look at the two graphs I have prepared for you. Inverse normal distribution is I have the probability, meaning that I have the area under the curve. I want you to find the corresponding z value that is inverse normal distribution. To do that, we have to use inverse norm command on your TI graphing calculator. So the first problem, I have 20% on the left, I want you to find the corresponding area. So in this, uh, on this page, I have all the problems for you. And then on the right hand side, I have the screenshot. So if you do this work on your graphing calculator, you should see that result on your screen. Let's do the first one. The screenshot is for you to check your work for your reference only. I will do everything again in this video. So the first one, 20% on the left, we go to second VARS, and then we select inverse norm. So we type 0 0.20, the mean is 0, the standard deviation is 1. So we, of course, we write this down, 0 0.20, let's follow the color. So that is a 0 0.20, the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, so z is equal to negative 0 0.842. All right, so that is the corresponding Z value. So if you're using a newer calculator, you won't see, you don't have to do this uh, command on the home screen. You do that on a menu, just for the area, just input 0 0.20, that mean you input a zero, the standard deviation, you input a one. Okay, so moving on to the next one. The next one is 47% uh, on the left. So this one is 0 0.47, the mean is zero, standard deviation is one, so we have C second VARS inverse norm, 0 0.47, mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, so we have negative 0 0.075, right? So that is three decimal places. So that's for A and B. And then for C and D, they are all on the right, 35% on the right, 54% on the right. So 35 and 54. So C is 35% uh, on the right, okay. We have zero right in the middle, so 35, this is my Z. This is 0 0.35, so the Z is inverse norm. 0 0.35, the mean is zero, standard deviation is one, let's find out. Second was. Inverse norm, 0 0.35, the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, so we click enter, then we have negative 0 0.385, what's wrong with this answer? I have a z on the right hand side, right? So the z is supposed to be positive, but how come I got a negative? The reason is, every time you input a area to the inverse norm command, the calculator assume that you are having this area on the left hand side again the calculator assume that is on the left hand side so that's why they give you a negative c but we are human we know this is on the right that's why i provide a picture for you so this one i call that a left z the one on the right which is our answer is 0 0.385 is a right z the one on the right hand side and then this is the answer that we want Okay, let's do D. D is uh, 54, right? 54 on the right. So let's do D. So D is 54 on the right. So that means from right to left, we need 54%. So 54%, this one is already more than 50%. So the cut is right here. And then this is your 54%. The reason I make this is because when you put 54% on your calculator, they will give you a negative. Let's find out. So let's write to the writing first, inverse norm, 0 0.54, the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, so we have a second force. Inverse norm, 0 0.54, the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, then we have a 0 0.100, right? So that is the Z. Oh, actually, I should not box that. This Z is positive, but the cut we have is on the left-hand side, so the Z is supposed to be negative. Why is this positive? Here is why. 
the cal this is what the calculator is thinking. The calculator think, all right, you have 54%. Okay, I assume that 54 is on the left. So first, I will take the 54% for you, and then I will take additional 4% right there. So and then they give you this C, and then they assume that this is 0.1. So that's what the calculator is thinking. But we are having a 54% on the right, so that is big enough to push the cut to the left hand side. So this Z is not what we want. The one we want is 0 0.1, but in negative. So that is the answer we want. We are human, right? We are smart. So we know that it must be negative. Then we put a negative in there. Okay, so we have two parts left. Uh, the first one is what? The first one is 50% in the middle, in the center. I use the word center. So uh, part E, we have 50% right in the middle. So that is a zero, and then we cut 50% right in the middle. So this is a 50%. Okay, so that means that gives me a C1 and a Z2. Can we just use the 50% to find Z1 and C2? Uh, nope. We cannot. So what we have to do is I have to find this piece and that piece. So we have 50% in the middle, right? So the total is 100%. You subtract the 50% in the middle, you divide it by two. So that means you still have 25%, one on the left-hand side, and then one on the right-hand side. So to find the Z1, we have to use the 25%. So Z1 is equal to inverse norm. 0 0.25, the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, so we have Z1 equals to second VARS inverse norm, 0 0.25, the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, then we have negative 0 0.674, the one on the right, Z2, you just remove the negative. The only difference is the positive and negative because the graph is symmetrical. That's the reason. The last one is 75% in the middle. So that is part F. So let's do part F. We have 75% in the middle. So 75% right in the middle. Then we have a Z1, we have a Z2. So you take 100% minus 75 divided by 2. Then you have 25 divided by 2. Then you have 12%, one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. So this is a 0 0.125, this is 0 0.125. And then the Z1 is equals to inverse norm, 0 0.125, the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. So second VARS, inverse norm, 0 0.125, mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. There you go, then you have negative 1.5, 1.150 and then c2 is the one on the right hand side so you just remove the negative all right so that would be the end of this video if you think my instruction is helpful please let me know in the comment section below as always like the video subscribe to my channel share the video to your friends appreciate your help i will see you all in the next lesson signing out